All right, babe, what's going on here? So our friends Tiffany and Tyler just got here with their family and they're pulling in, setting up, and we're gonna hang out for the next few days. Where did they just, where did they come from? Yellowstone. Yellowstone, and where are we? We're in the Tetons. Recap. Okay, have we said anything about where we are? I can't remember. Uh, a little bit when we arrived. I did a little bit when I drove into town. But you can give a recap. So recap. And we go like this. <laughs> recap. <laughs> like reversing. Like, like, like. Like a on. rewind? No, just like hold it. So it's, it's just like, and then you go like rewind. Like, and you're like walking backwards kind of thing. Like that? No? Okay. I'm not that good at editing. I can't like, you know. Give me that. It's a quick recap. We are here just outside of um, T Grand Teton National Park. Um, and we're camping, boondocking. We met some friends. Um, we kind of encroached on their spot, but they were these super cool dudes that work for a rafting company out here. So what but was funny was, is we wanted to like check with them before we kind of camped near them. And so we went and knocked on their trailer, which normally we don't do, but we just felt like it was right. The trailer totally looked like an old person, this and that. They it's had like chairs this old, out. like tan trailer, this Back old tan wood. truck, like two nice like reclining chairs, like facing the view. And then totally thought we're they were like, ah, trouble. whatever, we're gonna camp here. And then they show up, and they're like both like kind of like 36 years old, super cool. They're like stoked that we're here. We've been hanging out, sharing the fire every night, cooking food together. Um, Jeff and Ryan, it's been great. Hang yeah, out. they're freaking awesome. So, that's really close to my face. But anyways, so there's this camp spot up here, and it's awesome, it's right on the creek. When we arrived, it was full, and now, supposedly it's empty, but what's funny is everyone comes right by our camp and then they turn around because there's like this downhill section with these whoop de doos and uh, yeah, that's what, what? Yeah, and that's what I was, that's what I was gonna say. I was trying to prompt you. And that, I was trying to... and that, oh, God. oh my gosh. That was uh, what we drove up the other night. It was pretty good, good time. A few moments later. ago and now we've met up again here at the Tetons. That's right. Do you want to tell anybody about your your travel real quick? Yeah so I'm from Kalispell, Montana and I'm a huge baseball fan and I started my adventure on March 28th in Oakland, California to drive my camper 20,000 miles around the country going to a baseball game in all 30 stadiums. So I just wrapped up Colorado which was game 28 and now I'm working my way to Seattle, uh, and then I end the trip in San Francisco. So Jesse and Mel sent me a message saying, hey, we're in the Tetons. And I said, I'm passing through that way. I'll meet up with you guys. We've been together the last two days. Yeah, it's, it's so awesome. Uh, people in this community, you meet, and then it's just like almost like an instant connection. Ah. Oh. We're at this boondocking spot, and it's uh, by a nice creek here, and Kyle's a big fly fishermen so we're gonna head down supposedly there's a couple of big pools see if we can get anything I actually I actually am not a fisherman at all I think it's really we're boring. gonna change that Jesse we're I think it's really that. boring but we'll uh, no offense to you um, but we'll see I mean a lot of people think hiking is boring and I love hiking so if you're hiking to go fishing <laughs> if you're hiking to go fishing 
But uh, I brought the drone, so I'm probably gonna scare all the fish away with the drone. Fish or outsmart a fish right up here. I feel the pressure of being on camera and trying to catch a fish. Hey, don't worry. I can edit all this, <laughs> all this extra footage. I'll make it look like you catch a fish per minute. But we're getting the breakdown of how fly reel works. Uh -huh. I've only what's a normal like not fly. What's it called? Just like normal rod and reel. Rod and reel. Yeah. So you normally have a rod and reel. This is a fly rod and a fly reel. Okay. So. On your reel, you, you start with backing, which is you can't see because it's underneath the fly line. And then you go to this floating fly line right here. Okay. And then you go down to a leader. Yep. And then down on that leader, you tie on a piece of tippet, which is just a smaller piece of fishing line, okay. even smaller. And then at the end, you have a fly on there. So this is the fly that we're trying right now. We're about six casts in and we have been completely unsuccessful. Okay, now do you make your own flies? No, no, <laughs> I don't know. No, no. I now mean, why the, is it green? Is that just so you can see it better when it's in the water and know where it is? The yeah, line? yeah, and also remember, this clear plate piece, by the time it's all tied together, is like 10 feet long, so the, the fish never actually sees the bright green floating That's fly That's more line. for you to know where your line is. Yeah, exactly, and it's easier to cast because it's a thicker line. Gotcha. So. Okay, cool. Uh, we're learning a bit today. This is awesome. And we're, we're looking for any rise, any splash that happens around that fly. And we may be changing flies here shortly. So now, so now, different flies. What? Uh, so that's a pretty small one, right? So, if you're not having success here, what would you switch to? Something so, brighter or, or larger or smaller? Or? Well, so what we ultimately want to do is see if we can't see any type of bugs flying around. And you want to mimic what you see on Absolutely. the water. Absolutely. So if we see Makes little sense. white type moss or something, yeah. we're going to tie on a white type, a, a white type fly. If okay. we see you know, flying ants or things like that, we might Darker tie on color. a little black uh, ant pattern. That makes sense. But it looks like it gets real deep right up there. And then, so we're gonna go get that a shot before we retie. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's head up. Let's do it. Many hours later. All right, watch the fly. I see it. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, he's tiny! Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's just a little guy! Gribble! Oh shoot, he's tied up. Hold on. Oh no. Oh, look at this optimistic little guy. Big Eaton's right there, yeah, huh? Yeah! Kyle's first catch of the day. <laughs> and oh. it's a hog! It's a hog, is that it's a It's a hog! Out? No, it's no. This poor little guy is maybe a year old. Oh, okay. So you try to get him off and put him back in. Absolutely. We're just gonna gently get it, take it off, and then we're gonna just let him catch his breath and swim out of our hands at his leisure. Hey, well, I, I, I gotta say, this is the first time I've ever been fishing <laughs> with Kyle. But the way he talks to the camera. I feel like you gotta start your own uh, fishing channel, man. I just need you to teach me how to edit. That's fine. <laughs> we'll do That's that. fine. Uh, in you can totally do that.
we ended up hiking down the creek and now we know that there's a little trail that'll bring us back to the road. What do you think, Kyle? Is this like Blair Witch Project right now? I feel, I feel like we're still safe. We're still, we're still good? And luckily, uh, Kyle is smart and has bear spray. Oh, but here's a giant pile of bones. Bone That's pile. great. It's just getting better and better. Can't find the trail, bone pile. So you know there's some sort of carnivore around here. And uh, yeah, but Kyle's in front and he's got the spray, so we're good. Oh, here's a Karen, a little marker. Oh, there's the rest of the deer. That's probably that's, not deer. That could be an elk. That's, that's big. big. That is big. That's some big bones right there. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. This is definitely, definitely a kill zone. Uh, there's just kind of bones scattered throughout this whole area. And I just want to let everyone know that we met this dude, Kyle, like, you know, a couple months ago for like two hours. And now we're traping through the woods with him. And uh, for all we know, he could have put those bones there. For all we know. Oh, farts. Oh, farts. Woohoo!